Are you a calendar person or a reminders person? Do you gravitate to one app more than the other, or do you just go back and forth using both? Well, with iPad OS 18, Apple performed a wedding ceremony and married reminders to calendar. So far, so good. But like all young marriages, there's a few bumpy roads to navigate. If there's anything I've learned from you, it's that there are many different ways to use these two apps. But there is a path that Apple would like you to take, and that's what this video is all about. Hello, my name is Rich, and each week I make easy-to-follow videos on how to use your iPad and iPhone, you know, without going nuts. I do my very best to make each video helpful without being too complicated, and if that's something you might be interested in, please consider subscribing. I honestly can't believe how much we've grown as a channel, and it's because of really great people like you who have joined our community of learners. And of course, it doesn't hurt that subscribing is free. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you the smart lists I use in Reminders, how to make sure your Reminders are connected to your calendar, how to plan your week using the two apps, and how to easily schedule the time of day for each Reminder. This is all simple stuff and it's easy to do. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is just how this marriage occurred. You know, in the past, you would open Reminders and you would create a task in your one of your lists and reminders and that was it or you opened your calendar and you made an appointment in your calendar for something for it and that was it but now you can add reminders to your calendar and this is how that works so i've got calendar opened here and if you just tap on the plus you can actually add a reminder right here so you as you create this you get a choice between an event which is like I guess a doctor's appointment or something like that. Or you can create a reminder like wash your car. That's a task. And the task is put on the calendar at a certain date. And in this case, it's today's date. You can actually choose the list where you want it to land over in reminders. So I'm going to choose my inbox here. And as you can see, I've created a reminder that is to wash the car. And now it's showing up here at 9 a.m. today. So if I go back over to my reminders list and go to the inbox, you're going to see that I've got a task for wash car today at 9 a.m. And that's the whole idea around how these two things are integrated. And that's kind of an overview. So that means that you can always go into Calendar and create your tasks. But for me, that's probably not the best way to do it. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. So first I want to show you how I set up smart lists in Reminders and why I do that. So if you open Reminders, you can see I've got a smart list called Today, a smart list called Scheduled, and a smart list called Unscheduled. And if you go over and we'll go into my focus areas, you'll see that I have some tasks over here and some of them have a date and a time. Some of them don't. And I use focus areas to remind me of what I need to do. So each week I sit down and I just take a look, what do I need to do for my health or my, my marriage or family? What are the things that I need to do? And this list of areas, these sections right here, sort of remind me what I need to think about as I make out my task list. But I don't always know what day I want to do it. For example, I need to power wash the driveway but I don't know when I'm going to do that. I just needed to make sure I got that in there. So what happens is the ones that I know that I have a date for, I can put it on here and those show up in scheduled tasks. So I've got wash the car task that I just made and I've got a few others here, but I don't have anything else in there. And so that those tasks that I didn't put a date with, don't get lost somewhere in my list of things to do, I created a smart list called unscheduled. And so now I can see the things over here that have not been scheduled that I need to schedule. And it's easy to create a smart list. In this case, I'll show you how I did it. I'm going to tap on show smart list info. And I created a smart list. I called it unscheduled. 
I gave it a color, I chose an icon for it. And then here where it says Manage Smart List, I tapped on that and I chose the filter, show me all of the tasks in reminders that have no date associated with them. There's all kinds of filters you can put in here, any date, today, whatever, but I wanted no date. So that means I created a task and I haven't scheduled it yet. And I click done and done. And now I've got my smart list over here. If you wanted to do that from scratch, you would just tap on add list down here and then go through the same process that I just showed you. So now I have my scheduled over here and I have my unscheduled over here and now I want to schedule those tasks. But I'm not really sure what day I want to do them and so this is where the calendar comes in. But that is how I use my smart lists. Now you may open up your calendar and you don't see anything, any tasks listed in your calendar and you may be going why, why isn't that there? Well you have to go over to the little calendar icon on the side and tap it and you've got to choose scheduled reminders right there. If that's unchecked you'll see how these reminders that I have scheduled go away and then appear. So the key thing is to make sure that you've got scheduled reminders checked in your calendar list over here. And that's how you do that. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is just how I plan out my week. So when I take a look at my calendar, I put it on week view, I can see that I've got some appointments in here and I've got some tasks. I don't really have anything going on on Thursday or Friday. Monday is kind of open there early on in the day. Um, so I look at this and I think, well, how am I going to get my tasks over in there? So what I do is I use split screen, I bring up my task list, and I go over here and I bring up my tasks, and I go to unscheduled. Now if I go to scheduled, these are the things that are already showing up in my calendar. Just remember that if you don't have a date associated with your task and reminders, it will not show up in your calendar. You've got to make sure you put a date with it. So I have some that have dates here. And then I've got a whole bunch that have no dates there. So I got to thinking, boy, it would really be handy if I could just drag a task over here and put it on the calendar. And so I thought, I'll just give that a try. So I tapped on it. I just drug it right over here to Friday at 5. And now it wants to create a new event. But I, it's a reminder, so I'm going to do Reminder and I'm going to leave it in focus areas and I'm going to click add. Okay, so I just drug that over there and I thought that's a really great way to do it, but here's where the rubber meets the road. This is where the bumpy part of the marriage exists. If you'll notice, I drug it over here and I still have it over here, but there's no date or time associated with it. I thought that if I drug it over here that it would put Friday the 7th at 5 o'clock, but it didn't do that. What it did was it created an entirely new reminder over in the inbox where it put the date and time. So now I have it here and I have it here. And so dragging and dropping is not really the solution. It's not the way you can do that. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to delete it by tapping and holding delete. And you'll notice and now it's gone from the inbox. Okay, so the way to do this rather than drag and drop is to actually take a look at your week and go over to your unscheduled list of things to do and schedule them. I can see that Thursday the 6th is open, so I'm going to just go over here and tap on this. I'm going to add a due date. and I'm going to put custom and I'm going to go to the 6th and I'm going to apply. And now you'll see that shows up over there. I'm going to power wash the driveway on Friday. So again, I'm going to add a due date. I'll go to custom. We'll go to that to the seventh. And I'll apply that. And so you can see how I'm beginning to add tasks to my list. And I can see what I've got going on during the week while I'm doing this. I can also schedule my Q1 videos. Tap a date, I'll do custom, I'll do that on 
Wednesday the 5th. I'll click Apply. And that's how you can take an unscheduled list and turn it into a scheduled list. And if you notice when I scheduled it, it doesn't show up over here anymore. It shows up over here. So things like schedule the Q1 videos, you know, are showing up over here on Wednesday. Uh, repair the farm table that I just put shows up here on Thursday. So they go from the unscheduled list over to the scheduled list. And as the unscheduled list gets smaller, I know that I've taken care of the tasks over here. And that's how you schedule tasks to get them from reminders over into calendar in an easy way and get your week planned out. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is just how to set the time of day for your reminders. If you'll notice, I've got my week up here and I've got it sort of planned out, but these reminders that I scheduled in reminders for a particular day are not showing up at a time. So it's easy to do that and all you have to do is just drag it. So I've got the power wash right there. I think I'll just drag that down to 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. And now I've got it set for 11 o'clock. I'm going to grab farm table and just pull it down to 7 a.m. I'll start the work on that and I'll schedule my annual physical. I'll just tap on it and bring it down to 10 a.m. I'll call the doctor's office and then I'm going to schedule my Q1 videos at 3 in the afternoon. And that's it. You just simply drag them down and now you have your whole week planned out for you. And the interesting thing about this is if you go back to reminders and you go to your scheduled, you'll see now you have times for these things. Um, repair the farm table 7 a.m. Power wash the driveway 11 a.m. So the information from calendar goes back over and syncs in reminders. And it's just a handy way to do it. But the whole idea here is, is that you can live in your calendar or you can live in reminders or you can sort of mix them together and use both of them the way that I'm doing here. But this is just a simple way to use reminders to plan out all the tasks that you have to do and then go back over to your calendar and actually schedule when you're going to do those tasks. Super handy. You know, I must admit I'm glad Apple integrated reminders with the calendar. They fit like a hand in a glove. Okay, that's it for today's short tutorial. I do hope you found it helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.